Here we are at the John Deere product launch and in this case we're in front of one of the uh, sprayers that's on display out here and with me is Brent Madden and Brent I understand uh, you're a, a, a grower yourself. Tell me a little bit about your operation. You bet. We farm in uh, central Arma, Iowa, f family farm. Uh, Dad takes care of a lot of that so uh, living an hour away there in Des Moines it uh, works out pretty convenient there for my brother and I, and we uh, we try to make it back as much as we can, uh, in addition to working for John Deere. Um, so we we take a lot of pride in, in getting back to that family farm. So Well, and I want to ask you a couple questions and have you speak as a grower here. But first, tell me a little bit about what is new and on display here uh, from John Deere, especially in the precision area. You bet. we got a wide variety of, uh, of products here that we're excited to roll out. Uh, got the 9000 series tractors, we got the new sprayers. Uh, it, within the precision realm, uh, some of the big things we're excited about would be swath control for planters, uh, additional rate controller applications like uh, NH3 or liquid fertilizer, and all these things we, we really think uh, can add a lot and leverage that GS2 for a lot of different things that, that customers should can relate to, I think. So in other words, when you uh, look at investing and putting uh, a GPS controlled function, put the receiver and the other equipment on on your on there. It's more than just a one season type application that you can use it just for this. Now there's really a broader range of uh, functions that you can use this equipment for. Definitely and uh, personally we just bought a GS2 on our farm. Uh, we leverage it for a lot of different things you, from auto track uh, within the tillage applications or even in the planter and then now with the swath control activation we can actually do that on the planter. That'll be important for our farm to do a lot more efficiency effectiveness, uh, whether it's my dad or myself, uh, experienced or inexperienced operators that run it in the cab. Well, I really was most impressed looking at the swath control portion of this for planning. Uh, just give us a, a synopsis of what that meant when you ran this in your operation. Well, we're going to hopefully get it up and running this spring. and. Uh, uh, in that running, you know, with the CASA seed doing what it's doing, we think it'll have a, a great a, uh, aspect and effectiveness on our farm, both saving on the seed side and then also uh, helping out with the make those doubled up crops uh, be more efficient and yield a little bit better on the ends. So we're lo definitely looking forward to integrating it in on our farm. Well, describe what uh, the equipment can do from a, a, a seeding application. Just what is it that it does that allows it to give you this uh, uh, benefit financially and is, when you're going out to plant corn, for I'm example? Happy to do that. Uh, for instance, on the swath control, it gives that automatic shutoff functionality, and uh, so as you go into the headlands where you may you probably have already planted, it'll automatically shut those off as it comes through there, whether the planter is in the ground or out of the ground, and uh, really drives that to take that out of the operator's hands and get that efficiency in through using the GPS and those common setups, and it's the same display that we use for the auto track and all those things. So, uh, given all that, you can really drive that effectiveness in, and with the cost of seed. Uh, obviously doing what's doing nitrogen you always want to be more efficient and effective with your inputs and get the most out of your crops and uh, I think some of these applications will really help us and we're excited to bring those to the market to do that. So maybe turn back to your John Deere hat for a moment I know you've had a chance probably to present this to quite a few uh, dealers and maybe even some customers to see this I, I think are coming out here. What What's the feedback been like so far for what you're offering new in this area? You bet. Dependent a uh, little bit on some of the size of the fields and and uh, operators and how big their implements are. You, you can see a wide variance of, of seed savings, maybe one percent, you know, three or more percent. And uh, as you start to add that up with the number of acres, the savings start to really uh, get to be attractive on some of those operations. We farming about 2,000 acres, uh, maybe a little bit short of, and uh, you know, with all those different applications, it really starts to be something that we're attracted to and, and can start to justify on our farm. Great. Well, thank you very much. That's Brent Madden. He works for uh, John Deere, but is also a grower, as he said, in, in Iowa. So we really appreciate your perspective here at the John Deere product launch. I'm Chuck Zimmerman reporting.